All right, so the parts that come in the kit. The bumper comes unpainted, and but it does come primed. I painted it to my factory color in my garage. It's a perfectly smooth paint job. Comes with the rings that are unpainted. They're still black. These two are black also. This goes under there. That part goes right there. It holds the sensors. You're gonna have to modify the sensors or the connectors. Comes with the grill. The back part of the grill also. The bottom grill. And the two parts for the headlights, which are important. It came with all that, which is great. The parts it does not come with are the fasteners and the screws and the other fasteners. Oh, it also comes with these. Comes with both of those, both lights, and both lower grill honeycomb. I believe that's it. Oh, also comes with the, uh, this part for the tow hook. It comes with the little parts for the washers, and it comes with this, um, the camera shroud or whatever it is, the camera trim for the drive assistant and all that stuff. So after I get all of that together, well, I have to still assemble the bumper. It's going to be part of the video. Also, it doesn't come with any of the screws or anything, so I'm going to have to take this off, which is pretty easy, but... I'm gonna have a video on how to take it off as well. But I'm gonna jack it up and remove all of these. Cut two up here, a bunch down there. I already painted these black because they need to be black for my vehicle anyways. The parts that are in here, screw behind here. I'm gonna take that off and then I'll get back to the video. Also parts that don't come with it is the bumper absorber. You have to buy that. I got it on eBay for 50 bucks. And then the air vent inlet that goes into the bottom part of the grill where the camera is. You need to buy that as well. I'm not sure if there's anything else I had to buy. No, there wasn't. That's everything. So I will get back to you. Get all the clips removed. There's some here. My trim piece got pulled off and those were missing for a long time. So I'd have to take them out. But there's three that you're gonna have to cut off there. I'll be replacing it, but not right now. You gotta take these ones off. All the ones underneath. There's a screw back here and take all those off there. And there's a screw up here. Take the bumper off, it's real easy. You don't wanna forget to take this trim off and just push it forward and pull it out. If you don't, it's gonna break. But I have replacements for these. If you wanna take these out first, you gotta push them forward and pull down. And don't forget there's a screw holding them in. Screw holding them in here. So to take this off, you simply pull. That's it. Pull this. Pull this here. Pull this here and down. See? It all pops in. See? Pull off. Pull off. And that's the bumper. Now I gotta disconnect the sensors and wires and the lights and all that stuff. I yanked the bumper off. I took the sensors out. Here's the sensors. The middle sensor is going here, so I'm going to have to modify the connection somehow, but I'm about to figure that out right now. I'm about to figure out how to modify these to put them in here and in here, so I'm going to figure that out right now. And some of these screws I'm going to need for the new one, the new lights. 
So I'll figure that out too. This is all new to me, but I think I can figure this out pretty easily. Now I have to take these off and replace them with the new ones, 10 millimeters. Looks like two, maybe three bolts. And then I have to take these off too. Looks like it's pretty simple to take that off. It's replaced with the new one. So when you get the kit, these push in here and here, and then the light goes in here and in here. Spring nuts go in the squares. And then these screws hold those in. So I got that back off. Spring nuts. They have to go in here first. Yep, they pop in here. Probably need more of these, I'm not sure. And I'll need them for here too. Hold the other piece on. Now I can put this on, snap it into place. with a little flap and it's in place. All right, so there's that piece. Now here's the vent piece. The circle here goes where the circle here is, obviously. And uh, it's pretty cool. This whole kit wasn't that bad. A lot of things I had to buy. You're going to need to buy a lot more things that comes with the kit, but it's still worth the upgrade. It still looks great. Oh, I forgot to put one in there. Do I need to put one in there? Yes, I do. Hold on. A little spring nut. Here, goes up and down just so you know. There. Saw that at the last second. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna have to. Okay, no, I don't have to screw those in right away. I thought I had to. Just want to do it until you hear that click. There. 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 I think you just screw it all together now. Yep, it's all in there. No, I'm just going to screw it together. All right, so I put these in place first, the lights, and I put the spring nuts, the square ones, in each one, one, two, and then three, three, four. Then this goes in after. So you got to get, you got to put the spring nuts here, 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 and here, the square ones. There's going to be different kinds. And then you're going to put this and sandwich this to get this light, the light puzzle. And then you're going to put, you're, you're going to screw these in. Then you're going to put the other other part in as well the air vent so we pop this in just do a little 
whack, cool. Take your eight, seven millimeter actually, and put them in here. Make sure it's lined up. Just gotta go back a little more. There you go. There's four of these. Actually, I'm gonna do these two, because these two, let me see, do these have to do that? No, it doesn't. It doesn't screw with that one. So yeah, you put these top ones in too. And lightly do it. You don't want to over torque it when you're breaking it. Then put the vent on, air vent, and just put the three screws in the air vent. And it'll snap it right into place. And then, pretty sure, you put the screws over there also. Yeah. Here's Luke. So now that I got all the screws in here, this thing's going together great. Like, I'm really pleased with this. Yeah, there's a, a lot of parts you're gonna have to buy, a lot of screws. Like, I'm gonna go over all the screws you're gonna need. You're gonna need like a lot of fasteners, a lot of screws, but Look at all this is in, it's perfect, ready to go. Um, still got a little bit more stuff to do, but like, uh, you know, figuring it out as I go along. So everybody has to have an easier time for it. Okay, so four more going here. One, two, three, four. And that'll be one, two, three, four to hold on the front part that has the uh, sensors. Now what I did with the sensors is I cut the old ones off with a chisel and JB welded them to this and hopefully they stay, you know, the glue hasn't dried yet, um, but hopefully they stay, and I'm going to screw this right to that in a couple minutes. All right, here's what I did so far. Another day, new day. All right, so I put all this together so far. It's not a very difficult task, but it's time-consuming. So I put the little lights here, the fog lights in. <clears throat> um, these took... These screws, which are M4.2-1.41 by 20 millimeters. You need like 30 of them. I bought a box of 50 at <clears throat> my local store. Um, I needed uh, these spring clips, which are point. Two, you know, the exact same thing, M2.141 by 20. And they're little square clips that they go in all the square holes. You need 30 of them, it says. Um, so you put this honeycomb in, then you put this in, and then you put the uh, two square spring nuts here, and then you put them all throughout there. You'll itself explanatory you can see where they all go so i put them throughout everything and then i took the screws and put them in there but you gotta put these together first put these in then put the front piece in here then put this other piece in and then sandwich it all together with all the screws it's super easy now as for the uh everyone has problems or think that they have to extend these wires i don't think i have to extend the wires yet i didn't clip these in yet i just set them there um, and I used the original um, retainers for the sensors. All I did was I, you took, I took a chisel, hammered them off. It came off real easy. And then I did the same thing for these. Took the old ones out because the old ones are too small. They won't fit in there. <clears throat> so then I took some bonding super glue, really good stuff. It's Gorilla Glue, and then uh, it's called a Zap Kicker. Zap Kicker makes the glue bond instantly so when you hold it there and you spray it it's instant bond and when i put these on they're not coming off like they're they're on there that's really strong and then um i just test fitted made sure that these were you know all there i unraveled the wire unraveled the whole thing where i needed to unravel them you might have to unravel more because some of these clips that hold on you have to put them in certain spots so i'm gonna have to move this one 
and this one is good this one's good but the two end ones aren't so i have to move those so they clip on there but other than that it's good they clip on these there's four little clips and two i have to move the two end ones i unraveled it what i did is i unraveled it here and here, I may have to extend this wire, but I don't think I have to. But once I get this together, then I'm going to rewrap this up with some tape so I don't have to get it connected on anything. <clears throat> now, so far, I have this together, and that's the last. this is the last part I have to do. Um, and I'm about to put that together right now and then put that on there and then, we're, then just put it on the car. All right, so I finished putting the clips on here. I sandwiched all this together, put the clips on it, screwed these screws to here, made sure all these were connected and everything. The screws, a bunch of them, they take the same screws that I've been using, the M2.14 <clears throat> the M one. I've been using them for, to sandwich the honeycomb grill to it. There's a... Uh, 10 11 12 that you need for that and then um, i put all the uh, clips in the holders I'm about to sandwich it together up here and then i'll screw the same screws through here but these are different spring nuts um same size but they're just uh the ones that clip on you know not the square ones so what i did is i put this part on first screw just the ends here just the ends here. You're gonna need a rivet here. I have the rivets for the very end one. But I put this on first, and then I'm gonna put this mesh grill on, and then screw it all together, and then should be done, except for the grill inserts. Well, it's done. It's put on. Fitment's perfect. Pain in the ass to get the sides in, but I did it. I just gotta put the bottom thing on down there. But other than that, everything's done. No complaints. Fits as it should. Okay, so basically you just put it back together in reverse on how you popped it off. You just gotta start over here, pop it in, pop it in here, pop it in here. The same thing for the other side. You're gonna need the new washer brackets. I got the part numbers for that because the old washer brackets for the 14 through 16 will not fit. You need to, It needs to drop down so it clears this and can open and close. The only hiccup I had was when I was putting it together, I chipped it right here. But this plugs into here, it plugs into here, and then this here plugs into that bracket that you took off here that you turned out. You have to plug, you gotta kinda just take this whole thing off and then get new uh, 3M double-sided tape and then put it on there, clean it off, and then put this on and then plug this in, screw that in the back, and then it all holds it together. And that's about it. I do have... The new fender liners, I'm gonna put those on this week. I just don't feel like doing it yet. And I got a new belly pan, which is definitely needed. 